So in this video, we are going to learn how to upload files from Notion database to Google Drive. Now suppose guys, you are a working professional and you use Notion to manage all of your daily tasks and work related stuff. This automation can help you a lot. Now suppose guys, you are an HR who is using Notion to enter the details or manage the details of all the job application you receive. And in those details, you also have to update the resumes, the CVs or the PDF files which the applicant sent. Now you want that as a backup, you want to upload those files to those resumes which you are adding into your Notion database into your Google Drive. Not just HRs guys, you can basically use this automation in any field according to your requirement. So in this automation, we are going to see how you can basically add the files which you are adding in your Notion database as a new item and upload those files automatically into your Google Drive. So if you are an HR as we took an example, you can use this automation to keep a backup of all the files you add in Notion into your Google Drive. Now how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, this is my Notion database. And in this database, I have created this table. So let's take an example of job applications. So in this table, I'm adding the details of all the new job applications I'm getting for my organization. Like I'm adding the name of the applicant, their email address, their mobile number, the position for which they're applying for, their work experience, and then I'm also adding their resume over here. Now here guys, I want that whenever in this Notion database, I create a new item, I add the details of a new applicant with the resume and other details, I want to upload the resume file, the file which I have received of their resume into my Google Drive folder automatically. So to do this guys, to automate this complete process, we are going to use an automation and integration platform that is called Pavli Connect. So here we are on Pavli Connect's dashboard and to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Pavli Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Notion to Google Drive. And then just click on create. Now here you can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. Now the idea here is first, we are going to connect our Notion account, our Notion database with Pavli Connect so that every time we create a new item in Notion, every time we add the details of a new user in Notion with the resume and all the details like the file and all the details, that same details, the same item details can be received inside Pavli Connect. And after that, using Pavli Connect, we are going to get the file details and upload the same file, send the same file and upload it in our Google Drive. So let's see how it is done. Now here in trigger window in choose app, search for Notion, just select it. And then in trigger event from the drop down, select the trigger event as new database item. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our Notion account and to make this connection, click on this connect with Notion button. And then because we have already logged into a Notion account in our browser, as you can see over here, Pavli Connect has detected the same account and it is asking us to select the page. Click on the select page section and here you can see a list of all the pages which we have created in Notion account. Here you can see all of these pages I have in my Notion account right now. And then here it is asking us that access to which pages on our Notion account we want to give. If you want, you can give access to all the pages or if you want, you can get access to a specific page on which you are working on. So let's take an example of giving an access to a specific page. So I'm selecting job applications, this page, because we want to get the details, new items from this particular page. Just select it and click on allow access. Now, when you click on allow access, here you can see that our Notion account, our Notion database is now connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, all the database which we have selected while making the connection, you can see all of those database over here in this drop down. So here you can see that we have just given the access to this job application database over here while making the connection with Notion. That's why you can see only job applications over here. Just select it and then we have to click on save and send test request. So after clicking on save and send test request, 
the details of the most recent item, the most job applicant details which we have added in our Notion table, the details of that same job applicant will be received inside Pavli Connect. So here you can see that we have the applicant named dummy applicant and we have their details and the resume file. So when we will click on save and send test request, you will receive the same details. So let's click on it. And yes, guys, here you can see that we have received some response. And in this response, you will see the same details. Here you can see the response of work experience that is three years, the same work experience which we have entered in Notion. Then we will scroll down further. You will see the same response in plain text. Then you can see the name of the file which we have uploaded, resume.pdf. The same file name over here, you can see the same file. Then here you can see the file URL. So this is the link of the file which we have uploaded in our Notion database. When we will copy this link and paste this link in a new tab, you will see the same file, the same resume file which was uploaded over here. The same file will open in front of us. Now after this, we will scroll down further and we will see some other details. Like here you can see the name of the position for which the user has applied. The same position which we have entered. Then you will scroll down further. You can see the mobile number. Then you can see the email address and also at last the name of the person. So this means guys, basically all the details of a new item which we have added in Notion is received inside Pavli Connect. And in this same response, you can see the file as well, the link of the file as well, which was added, which was uploaded with this new item, with this new detail in Notion. So step one of setting up this automation is completed guys. Now after this guys, we have to move to step two. And in step two, the same file which we have added in this Notion database in this new item, the same file whose link we have received inside Pavli Connect, we have to upload this exact same file in our Google Drive. Now here guys, to upload this file, just scroll down in your workflow and come to our action window. And here in Choose App, search for Google Drive. Just select it. And then in action event from the drop down, select the action event as upload a file. Just select it, click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our Google Drive account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, click on this sign in with Google button and then select your Google Drive account in which you want to upload the file. After selecting our Google Drive account, just scroll down and click on continue. And as we click on continue, we will see our Google Drive will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the URL. That what is the URL? What is the link of the file which we want to upload on our Google Drive? So here the help text says, enter the public file URL to be uploaded. Max file size is 50 MB. Allowed file formats are mentioned here. So using this particular action of upload a file, you can upload the file up to 50 MBs directly on your Google Drive. But if you have a files more than size of 50 MB, larger files than 50 MB, here you can see that in action events, you have another action event of upload large files. And using this action event, you can upload files up to 500 MBs on your Google Drive. So any of the action event you can use according to your choice, according to your requirement of file size. But here guys, in this URL field, we have to mention the URL, the link of the file which we want to upload. And from Notion, we have received the link of the file which we have added over here. This is the response of file URL. And we are going to map this same response of file URL over here in this field. And here guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and in this drop down below, you can see a list of all the responses which we have received from Notion. And out of all of these responses, select this response of file URL and it will be mapped over here. So whatever file we are going to upload in Notion for the same file, for the same newly created item, we are going to get the details with the file URL. And using the same file URL, we are going to upload the file in Google Drive. After mentioning the URL, the next thing it asks us is the folder ID. So here guys, we have to enter the folder ID that in which folder on our Google Drive, we want to upload this file. So in my Google Drive account, I have created this folder named as job applicants resume. You can basically create any folder of your choice and you have to actually enter the folder ID of that folder, particular folder over here. And to get the folder ID, just open the folder in your Google Drive and here in the URL section, you can see the folder ID after folder slash. So at last here, you can see this ID. This will be our folder ID. Just copy it from here, go to Pavli Connect and paste it over here. 
After pasting the folder ID, the last thing it asks us is the file name. That what will be the name of the file which we are uploading. So here guys, we have received the name of the file from Notion. Like the name of the same file which we have uploaded from Notion. But what I want, I want to create a combination of a name of the user, name of the applicant or the name of the person which we have entered in our Notion and also then with the name of the file. So what we are going to do, we are going to map both of these details over here. Like for example, I want to mention the name of the person first. Just click here and from Notion database, I'm going to search for the name of the applicant. This is it. Just select it and map it over here. After this, I'm adding a hyphen and then I'm going to map the name of the file. We have received this response of file name. Just select this response and map it. The help text says enter file name. File will be saved by the same name in your Google Drive. Please include the file extension with the file name. Example this. So we also have to include the file extension with the file name. So here guys, we have uploaded the file named as resume.pdf, which is having the file extension .pdf. So it was a PDF file. So with the same extension, we have to enter the file name as well. After entering all of these details, just click on save and send test request. Now, when we click on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received some response. And this response aims to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the data which we have basically mapped over here, basically the same file which we have added in the Notion database while creating this item, the same file is now uploaded on our Google Drive. So let's check it. We will go to a Google Drive. And yes, guys, here you can see that the same file which we have added in our Notion database is now uploaded on our Google Drive. This is the exact same PDF file. And the name of the file is dummy applicant hyphen resume.pdf. The same combination of name of the user and the file name which we have created over here in Pavli Connect. Now this means guys the automation workflow which we have created in this video is working absolutely fine. Now every time we are going to add the details of a new item in our Notion database over here and we will add a file to it. Automatically within 8 hours the same file will be uploaded on our Google Drive folder. And it basically takes a time of 8 hours to upload the file because the connection of Notion and Pavli Connect is a polling based connection. And every 8 hours the trigger, the Pavli Connect trigger is going to check for new data, new updates, newly created items in Notion. That will be in every 8 hours. So every 8 hours it will check for new data, it will get the new data, new files and then it will start processing this automation. This automation will be triggered and then we will automatically upload those files in our Google Drive. So here guys, not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications using Public Connect. And guys, one more important thing, you will find the clone link of this exact same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Public Connect account and start using automation workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Public Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Public Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pavli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestion and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.